My word in your mouth shall become even more powerful as you declare my purposes, even with Israel in these days. For as you speak, a trumpet will be sounded, calling my body to arise from slumber and complacency, and to help fulfill my purposes and plans. Shalom and welcome. My name is Donna Taggart and I'm speaking to you from the UK. Um, we have been talking about end time prophecy for the one new man. And today we're going to start with session three. We're going to take a look at the biochip technology and what's happening around the globe with this biochip technology. Um, but first of all, let me open in prayer. Okay, Father, uh, praise your holy name, Father. We've got to another one, another recording. Some people take this for granted, Lord. It's not, it's not just an everyday thing for me, Lord. But thank you, Lord, we've got here and we're in place and we're doing it. And it's all for your glory and it's all for your, with your grace. So we ask now, Lord, that you come, think through my mind, speak through my vocal cords. It's all for your glory, Lord, and we need your help. So thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys, let's start on the biochip technology. The biochip technology, 666, has arrived in disguise. Everybody around the planet has been looking for this mark, 666. They've said over the years, I've heard it's on the head and whenever one of the... Um, Leaders had a mark on his head. They said, oh, he's an antichrist. It was a birthmark. It wasn't a sign of he was an antichrist. Guys, we need to understand what the actual mark is, what the 666 is. And it shows you in scripture, it tells you in, te in Deuteronomy what the 666 is. If you, if you study it and you understand what you're looking for, it says the man who's wise will understand. So we're going to um, go through all this uh, First of all, I want to talk about the, the biochip itself. The biochip itself is the size of grain of rice. I had one for a few years because the, the biochip company, when it started, I don't know, many years ago, maybe 15 years ago, this biochip has been doing the rounds, but it's not compulsory. Until it becomes compulsory, it's not a biochip that we're concerned about. It doesn't matter. Everything has a biochip these days. Microwave, everything has a chip. But this one is a biochip for human beings. That's the difference. This human, this biochip works in human flesh, human technology. But first of all, let's look at the biochip. Everything has a barcode. If you've noticed, you probably have noticed over the years, everything has a barcode. I was amazed when I lifted my Bible before I got it backed. Um, even on the back of the Bible, it had a barcode because I bought it from a shop. So the barcode... If you look on your screen at the minute, you'll see the three red bars, three red stripes down the barcode. On every barcode, it must have these three stripes. Whether you get a part of the barcode, but the original base of the barcode has three red stripes. And these three red marks are called guards. They're guards. So they're, they're, they're on guard of the barcode. Okay. So anyway, we'll read, read about this in Revelation 13, verse 18. Let anyone who has intelligence calculate the number of the beast, for it's, it is a human number. His number is 666. Now it's a human number, yet it's called his number. So it's a man, it's a male, it's human, and the number of the human is 666. Every day, every product we buy has a barcode. And as you can see on your screen, as I was writing this, this was back 2008, um, even my Bible had a barcode. So, so this is how the barcode is going to be tracked. You can't get lost, guys, when you get a, bi a biochip. Because you're going to be able to track you from satellite. Um, this this, this uh, sl slide shows you the biochip in human being, in the hand and the head. It will be tracked by a scanner, just like you see when the shop, Tesco shopping center. They, they slide all the things through a chip, all your groceries go through a chip. Well, the humans will also go through a chip, except it'll be a handheld device. And it'll go through, and it has all your details from the day you're born. Right, and it's beamed out by satellite. 
and that has this is a very cheap technology now in 2008 when I did this study there was a chip uh, going around the campuses in America and they were selling these chips for $200 a piece so they were all able to buy their chips their biochips and this this bus was going on to the campuses college campuses um, tracking, giving the, the teenagers a chance to buy a biochip. It's a brilliant idea if it wasn't for Satan, guys. It's fantastic if it wasn't for Satan. Because this is going to, we're going to go through this teaching. It's going to show you where it's going. Okay, so our next clip is how they get into the human being body. An injection. Straight in. That's it. Simple injection. And that grain of rice, and you'll see that on your screen, everybody will believe it will protect them against kidnapping, fraud, theft, murder, terrorism, child abduction. But the thing is, you might have the biochip, but whoever takes, whoever takes, it, whoever kidnaps, will have, could have the person killed, and the body will be found. That's the difference. But where does the soul go? So don't get biochipped. I'm jumping as usual. Okay, guys, we're gonna take a look at this one. This is shows you an image of what the bio biochip looks like in the hand and where it comes from. It's in Deuteronomy. Because remember, Satan is an imitator. He's not a creator. He wants to imitate whatever God has already done, what God has been doing from day one. He wants to imitate. And he has imitated this technology is the imitation of his way of putting his mark inside human beings where God's way was to tell the Jewish people, his people. He chose the people for himself among all the, all the different amazing amounts of people there was at that time. There wasn't that many. But, you know, the, he chose the people for himself. He chose a land. He chose a people. And he chose a word and he gave them the law, although we're outside of the law, praise God. But the thing is, the Jews have to put this, the word of God on their arm called phylacteries. And this wee box on their arm keeps the word of God close to their heart. And they get another one on their head and or on their forehead. Sometimes it's either there or there they want, wherever they want, personal choice. The word of God near their head, near their mind. These are the boxes, the phylacteries. We box in the head. And it's a beautiful prayer time with God. Now they're going with Abba Father. Remember, they have the Old Testament. The, the new is in the old concealed. The old is in the new revealed. So we have the insight. In Deuteronomy, or sorry, in Deuteronomy it says, tie these to your, tie these symbols as symbols to your hands. And your foreheads. You're going to see this is amazing, folks. They have spelt, spent millions of dollars to find suitable places for this biochip technology to work in the human body. Because as everybody knows, the human body gets hot, gets cold. It's not going to be regular temperature continually. They needed to find somewhere in the human body that would have a regular temperature always. And they find the hand, and the hand in Hebrew is Yad, Y-A-D, Yad. But in Hebrew, it means from the fingertip, the fingertip to the shoulder blade. And that always puzzled me. And the church is not telling this because they don't understand Hebrew. They don't go into the Hebraic knowledge. But it's, you've got to go from the Hebraic knowledge, guys. That's where the roots are. We've got to, you know, you can't. Expect to blossom if it's not planted in the right place. It's got to have the right roots. Because it's from the roots that the rest of the plant grows. So that's the only place I could find in the human body that would take a biochip. In the hand and the arm or the head. Let's look at Revelation chapter 13 verse 8. All inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast. Now, this is not going to be a beast with horns and a tail like we discussed last session. It's going to be a man. 
with a suit and a tie. So all the inhabitants of the earth are going to worship this guy. They're going to think he's the bee's knees in today's technology or terminology in Belfast. The bee's knees. So um, all inhabitants of the earth will take the mark. Will worship this beast. All whose names have not been written in the Lamb's book of life. Revelation 14 verse 9. If anyone worships the beast and his image and receives the mark on his forehead or on his hand, how precise is God? This is thousands of years later than this was written. Like, I don't know, I just find this so awesome. Everything God does is awesome. Okay, um, anyone who, who receives the mark on his forehead or on his hand, he too will drink of the wine of God's fury. There is no rest day or night for those who worship the beast and his image or for anyone who receives the mark of his name. Revelation 14 verse 12. This calls for patient endurance on the part of the saints who obey God's commandments and remain faithful to Jesus. Now according to most prophecy teachers guys we're not supposed to be here. According to most prophecy teachers. So who is he talking to? This is what we need to understand. This calls for patient endurance on the behalf of the saints. I would have thought we were born again baptized Holy Spirit filled believers. So how could it be talking to those people? How, us, you know, how could it be saying, okay, this calls for patient endurance. So we're going to have to know how to stand in these days, this terrible time. Why the Holy Spirit filled believers will not want their chips? <laughs> Why will they not want their chips? Because the Holy Spirit within them will reject this, this uh, implant. The whole, not them, not the person. The person won't have the strength. Because number one, you won't be able to pay your rent. You won't be able to buy a car. You won't be able to pay your wages or pay your mortgage or get your wages. Because unless you have the biochip... At the point of time when it becomes compulsory, not before that. Once it becomes compulsory, then that's when you need to know who you're with. Either Christ, Jesus Christ, you're either saved by the blood of the Lamb with the indwelling Holy Spirit, or you're not. Because if you do not have the Holy Spirit indwelling, you won't have the power to stand against taking this chip. This is where the enemy got the idea of numbering human beings. Because it happened that the Holocaust, everybody knows about the Holocaust. This is a, an image of Charles Winter, Holocaust survivor. And he's showing you the number once again in the arm. Man moved from numbering products to numbering the whole of the human race in a whole new way. Okay, guys, so we can see from the cradle to the grave, from the cradle to the grave, human, mankind will be chipped. I would say even the coffins at the minute are not chipped, but the bodies going into the coffins at the minute are not all chipped all around the world. I would say a good lot of America has taken the chip. Maybe not, not a good lot, maybe some of them, but it's been going out for, it's been 15 years maybe. You know, they've been producing this. You can go on to YouTube website and the YouTube type in human biochip. And I'm not kidding you guys. It would scare the life out of you. But don't take it all. Don't take that all to heart because that's just people making things as well. Get it tied down to the Bible. Because it says in the Bible what we're looking for. We're not listening to mankind. You're not even listening to Donna Taggart. You're just getting to the Bible. Remember, I'm just the road point, the pointing direction. You need to get to the Bible because it tells you it all in it if you know what you're looking for. So from the cradle to the grave, from the cradle to the coffin. Protection for newborn, newborn babies. Apparently in America there's a lot of newborn babies all being biochipped. Senile dementia, Alzheimer's patients, criminals, celebrities, royal family. All, all armed forces, they all have a good reason to get chipped. They would find their bodies. They will be able to find out where they are if anybody takes any of them. 
they would be able to track, be tracked from satellite. So not, never in the generation before today could this ever have happened before this past probably 21st century. It might even know it happened in the 19th century, the late 19th century. Never, and all the generation before that. That's why I believe the seal in Daniel, I think it's Daniel 7, I can't remember at the minute. Um, the seal, scroll has been un opened, unsealed, and knowledge has come out. Because mankind has so much knowledge now. Um, so check out www.verychip.com. They have hugs and halos program for the babies. They have, you can check it out on YouTube. It's absolutely amazing what's happening around the world. Hitler's plan for the Jewish people is now backfiring on the 21st century, on 21st century mankind. All of mankind, except those who have the indwelling Holy Spirit in that appointed time. Now there's a window of opportunity before the appointed time, before the peace treaty is signed, before the Antichrist moves into the temple, the third temple. That's not built yet. The peace treaty is not signed, which will re release the Jews to build the third temple. Um, we have time. Let's get filled with the hidden dwelling Holy Spirit. Let's get filled with them, guys, because we need the knowledge. We need to know, because the Holy Spirit will tell us, don't go left. There's danger around there. He'll just tell you, go right. And for some unknown reason, you'll go right. And for some unknown reason, you'll go right, do whatever you're doing, and something will get blown up around the corner. These are the days we're living in, folks. Don't go left, you might get knifed. Go right. You don't know, we need the Holy Spirit's direction every step of the way. Don't drive down that street. Take a left. Who knows why we're turning left, but we're going left, because the right was blown up. Whatever it is, guys, we need the Holy Spirit. This is the time. God is deadly serious. Deadly serious. I will bless those who bless thee. And I will curse those who curse thee. This is really serious because God is not messing around, guys. There's no more time for messing around. We're very short least left. There's a window of opportunity. And we need to make use of it. Get everybody we love. Everybody we know. Everybody we care about. Reach them for Jesus. I don't know how you're going to do it because I find it hard with my own. My husband, okay, he's in, he's coming in. My son, my, my daughter and my son were both went through mikveh, waters of mikveh, which is waters, uh, what do they call it? Conver uh, these words go out of my head. That's because I'm not. All this was happened through the MS. So recalling things, recall. Pray for my recall, guys. I really need help with memory recall. Um. Waters, I went through the waters of, of whatever, but in Hebrew it's called mikveh anyway. In the churches they go through, Christianity they go through waters. <laughs> this is going to sound terrible, Lord. <laughs> Baptism, there you go. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Um, anyway, they go through baptism and the Jewish people go through mikveh. Jesus went through mikveh because he wanted you to understand you're burying the old man, bringing them up. Yes, they do that in the churches. But they do it in ordinary water. Jesus did it through flowing water. Not stale water. Flowing water. To wipe off the sin. Keep, the, you know, it was flowing water. There's a reason in that. Which hopefully someday we'll get to teach in on that. It's fantastic when you get into the roots of that. So anyway. So we need to understand. Revelation 16 verse 2. So the. The first angel went and poured out his bowl upon the earth. And the foul smell of demons, loathsome sores came upon men who had the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. There's going to be, it says in Revelation, there's going to be no death. No death for five months. You have to think about that. No death when you're absolutely in agony. Some people, when you're, when you, like there's so many times through this illness, I thought, I need out of this. I want to die, Lord. Just take me out. I just want to die. And yet, for five months, with this mark, this implant, there's going to be no death. So, it's, it's scary stuff, guys. We've got to know who, we, who our faith and our trust is in. 
So turn with me guys to Matthew 25 and let's take a look at the parable of the ten virgins. I've read this lots of times over the years. I still don't have an answer. I think it's fascinating but there's something there and because we're talking about all this prophecy stuff this is the time this needs to be talked about. At that time the king, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now guys we're not talking about physical virgins, we're talking about spiritual virgins who do not worship anybody else, who do not have another God before them. I was told um, in India, uh, minister, minister, Christian mi missionaries were out in India and they said, will you, t will, you, will you accept Jesus as your saviour? And they said, yes. Oh yes, we'll, oh yes, we accept Jesus. We, we have 600 gods. 600 gods? My word. Praise God, I've only one. Hallelujah, praise God. Um, the right one, there's only one. Praise God, there's only one. So um, these, are, these are ones who have all out for Jesus. We're all out for Jesus. Like one new man, it's all for him. Because we don't, we, don't, we don't exist anymore. I believe Donna Tiger doesn't exist anymore. It's just the, the power of God. So, um, so they took lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish virgins. And five of them were wise. The foolish ones took, took their lamps but did not take oil with them. The wise, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming and they all fell asleep and became drowsy. Now this is thousands of years, Lord, or this is thousands of years, guys. So the church has become drowsy. <laughs> the church has become lost, I think, in a lot of ways. At midnight, the cry rang out. Here comes the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up, trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wise, give us some of your oil. This always, this is always, you can't get too into detail too much, guys. Because, you know, you can't read too much into it. You need to get the surface message, which is what I want to teach you. Just look for the surface message. Because the message, you don't need to get too deep. We have no time. We need to get this message. We need to learn, what was he saying here? What was God telling us? Why this parable of the ten virgins? What does it mean? It's saying... We must be filled with the oil. This is the lamp. This is the lamp. The lamp is in here. The Lord says, the, our, the word is a lamp unto thy feet and a light unto thy path. And we need to know the lamp is here. So the word is here. So we need to continually make sure the, the lamp is filled with oil. And we need to understand that it's up to us. It's not going to be the minister behind the, at the front of the church. It's not going to be the ones. Um, it's up to us. And it, it could be anywhere. It can be. Like I got the big. I got one of the keys. Sorry guys. In the bathroom. In agony. And God said praise through the pain. This is reality folks. When you're in horrendous situations. Like people who have cancer. And they're absolutely riddled with pain. Terrible pain. Who do you turn to? Um, like I had. For, uh, all kinds of guys coming in telling me about DMS what I could it's amazing that I'm still with God because the pressure of these professionals and their knowledge and their understanding of the illness and the diagnosis oh you're gonna it's gonna be like this oh you have to do it now because this is what this is where you'll be in 10 years this is the way you'll be in 10 five years who knows how long this is where you'll go up eventually they were coming in with the this is how I was going to be in the, in, in the future. They weren't taking it from the Bible. I was taking it. I was, I was believing all the way along. I knew exactly what was going to happen. I know exactly I'm getting out of this chair, guys. I know exactly I'm going to be as healthy as any. I'm going to be the, one of the most healthiest people on the earth because I've come through so much and I'm still standing or sitting. But the thing is, I'm still believing in God and I'm still filled with the Holy Spirit. 
and I'm still needing God. I'm still searching for God. Remember we talked about the temple within? Pay attention to the temple within. Is the Holy Spirit living in a quiet place, a quiet temple? Or is it in turmoil? That was our first series. Or is it in turmoil? Let us concentrate on the Holy Spirit. So they wanted some oil for their lamps. They replied, no. There may not be enough for us. Instead, you go and buy, get your own oil. Store for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet and the door was shut. Later, the others came said, Sir, sir, open the door for us. And he replied, I tell you the truth. I know you not. Don't let it be said. Don't let that happen to you guys. Let him know your name. He knows me by name. Let him, let you, let him know you by name. Get to know that he knows you by name. Okay, Heavenly Father, we come before you, Father. We thank you, Lord, that we got through this. We thank you, Lord, that we, we did what we could, Lord. We just hope and pray it's pleasing to your eyes and helpful to other people. I pray, Lord, there's your people out there that you're reaching your people who you want to reach. I pray, Father, that this message, this teaching will grab their spirit and really hit home that this we really need to pay attention that you're not joking this is really serious and this is an appointed time for this teaching to go out because I've done it a, lo a lot of years ago and then finished it in 2008 it's been sitting since 2008 to now but the thing is Lord this is all happening now in these days so it needs to go out now people need to receive it now and we thank you Lord that this teaching has gone out and that your people will receive what you, the ones you have called, they will receive this word. Thank you, Father. And I pray, Father, whatever they're struggling with, if anybody's struggling with anything, they have people who care. The Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network are people who care. People who have gone through it, are going through it, are getting through it. But let, I just pray, Father, that you just meet them in their hour of need. And be everything you are t to me, to them, that I know you are. Be it to them as well. We ask all this, Lord, for your glory. In Jesus' holy name, thank you. Amen.